Hey everybody, welcome back to Kill by Daylight. The day is finally here, the fifth anniversary stream. I'm gonna be reacting to the good parts, which there seem to be a lot of good parts in this one. They've got a lot of stuff planned from their, their little breakdown, celebrating five years, uh, the reveal of the chapter, which I'm most excited about, obviously. Um, oh God, there's something else. There's the live update, there's the Realm Beyond, which Maybe means we're gonna see a new um, map rework. That would be neat. But I, uh, we're gonna get all our answers to the questions we've had about Chapter Twenty. Who is it? Will it be one survivor or two? Will it be two, one killer or two killers? Mr. Kote. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our. Fifth year celebration. Why is he the the the, the narrator from the Dark Anthology? Been with us for years, five years of going from humble beginnings to five years down the line being re-reviewed by the likes of IGN and Gamespot, giving us a nine out of ten by being the greatest asymmetrical multiplayer out there. I mean, there aren't many better ones. From our humble beginnings to today. A huge welcome to our old friends who've been with us for so long. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being with us and supporting us. And to all of our new friends out there, people who might be joining us for the first time, welcome. That's me. Uh, grab a uh, log by the campfire and enjoy the show. I thank you, Kate. I brought coffee. Not a, I didn't bring a log. I brought I brought coffee. But thank you for inviting me. I I preach. I, I shit on you so much, Kote. You and, uh... Uh... Oh god, I forgot his name. Uh, you know, our dev boy. <laughs> I forgot his name. There's the there's the schedule. Uh, but I appreciate everything you do, Kote. Love you, buddy. Now join me on a stroll down memory lane. Behavior's been making games for about 30 years now. Mostly Jesus, other I didn't realize that. Licenses and other I, I didn't know they've been doing this for like thirty years, but three decades. On the team, we have Holy crap! We want to tell. You and guys do know what you're doing. Been wanting to tell for a long time is the story of this fantasy of being a villain in a horror movie. Uh, way back when, a decade or so ago, people were telling us uh, horror doesn't sell. I mean, unless you're like the big ones, like Silent Hill or Resident Evil, but really don't even try wasn't a decade so ago we, outlast uh, we tried <laughs> wasn't a decade ago outlast we, and uh amnesia as a i think they lied to you on this called naughty bear if you don't know naughty bear go check it out it's magical i'm gonna have to make a note of that a little later on, <laughs> i might have to check we, that out we had one of our designer come up with a little prototype a very simple hide and seek thing with someone trying to hide and do a thing and someone else trying to catch them and finish the game and it was so good it was pure thumb candy. That's and a term. I figured that by slapping I guess. on that skin of the, the 70s, 80s horror slasher flick, we were onto something remarkable. So we put the old band back together. We went and get... Ash, There's a lot Dave, going on here. Bill, a lot of and top hat teddy bears. About 30 talented, special people on it. Almo, that's the guy's name I was thinking of. There it is. Dead by Daylight came to be. One of the first key moments for us happened just a little before launch. So the first Halloween before launch, we showed it internally to the rest of the behavior people. I remember we put the killer on the big screen and we put the survivors in a different room and we had people play the game and there was a lot of excitement and it was really cool. And then we put the survivor on the big screen and people went a little nuts and we saw the crowd really gather and root for the little guy to survive. And we, we realized at that point that not only was Dead by Daylight going to be a great game, but it was going to make for an amazing show. Are you going to announce esports? Developing a close. That's what it feels really like. Rewarding relationship with our content creators around the world. Uh, they helped make Dead by Daylight the success that it is today, and it it really feels satisfying to be able to to say that today we've made some good friends because of that. The next Halloween after launch, when we added. Michael Myers and Laurie Strode to the game from the original 1978 movie Halloween. At first, you know, we shipped the game with two killers and 
four survivors. Today, now, five years down the line... I love that this is all done in post. <laughs> ...and 27 survivors. It's like, now nah, he means three killers. ...that is so rich, so deep, dripping with story, so that all of these other legends of horror, those iconic characters from all different medias, were able to come into the game and our own original content can stand proudly side by side with the likes of Freddy Krueger and Ghostface. Today, I mean, your original designs are some of the best designs in the game. Is now the Hall of Fame of horror. It's the Smash Brothers of horror, but all right. That may have taken us by surprise a little bit is the depth of passion that our fans have shown us around the world. I am lucky enough that I was part of the delegation that was sent to meet people and to represent that by the light around the world. And we've met some crazy passionate fans out there. And thank you for that. I have seen firsthand the love, the support, the passion that unites people from everywhere around the world with that crazy game that we've made. I mean, that's what gaming One does. It brings people to together. To that is probably our creative teams. That's what it should do, at least. And the dedication of their research Foster that friendly relationship. Universal bits of horror. And whether they get inspired by the folklore or mythology that lives under your bed. You don't know what lives under my bed. still shows that what scares you can scare anybody else. Horror and fear are universal. And it brings people together. And that is kind of magical. Now, I thought he was getting up to go get a years, book. Uh, the team has grown close together. Uh, and the people around the game, uh, we're now over 300 people at Behavior working on this. There's people all around the world that are our collaborators, our partners. Uh, we've made more friends and, and, you know, partners than I can count. We've also had more inside jokes than I can count. Maybe one day we'll tell you what really is at the bottom of that campfire. Maybe one day we'll explain why the jar of salty lips. That is a good and question. You learn who is Jean-Marc Nelly? I don't understand that one. Since I have an opportunity here, I would like to, uh, to address something. Oh? At PAX a couple of years ago, I think it was in 2017, a journalist asked me uh, about the state of the game. And they asked me about the team. And uh, I answered them. Um, well, we, had, we were having some technical difficulties at the time. It was a bit of a rough patch, I won't lie. But I answered them saying that I thought we had done a pretty good job. Oh, God, so he's far. addressing memes. And for some reason, these words stuck. Uh, people started using them willy-nilly. They started attaching these words to many, many things. And you know what? I'm okay with it. I love this team and i love the work the skill the passion that has gone into it i love this game and if someone was to ask me again the same question i do believe i would tell them again i think we've done a pretty good job so far i mean you have that there's no denying that there's no denying that you have choice the you make you oh make as you travel into the fog i didn't know there was going to be a a one a quiz to a narration. Make that they really designed the Joker. Hey, horror tea. fam, Darren Bowsman here, director of the Hi, Darren. Saw films and the all-new Spiral from the Book of Saw in theaters right now. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard good things. Celebrate with everyone the five-year anniversary for Dead by Daylight. Higgy skins. Congratulations to the behavior team. We are all incredibly happy that Saw gets to be part of your legacy. The game continues. Cheers. That was not expected. Oh, oh, are we really doing it? That's Raccoon City. That's RE3 Raccoon City. That's a Meg. You don't belong in Resident... That's new Meg. Oh! Oh, is it my boy? Oh, fuck yeah, it is. I fucking called it. Well, I didn't call Jill. I called uh, Claire. Fuck yeah. Can we get a new map? <laughs> Hello, Dave. Hey, you. Uh, Thank hi. Thank you for joining us today for this very special celebration. 
So we are proud and happy to finally be able to reveal the content Holy of the shit. Resident Evil chapter. I was so scared it wasn't going to be like anniversary of Nemesis or, or Mr. X. As you may know, I was like, oh shit, it's going to be fucking Lady D or her, her, her daughters. Because everybody got me so nervous about game. that shit. And... That's going to change with the Resident Evil chapter. Oh, thank God it's Nemesis. Release, you'll be able to visit the Raccoon City Police Department. Oh shit, really? So new new map? That's a pallet. That's that's definitely a map. That's an exit gate as well. I just realized. Holy shit! Oh, that looks fucking sick. That is picture perfect from RE2. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you fight, uh, or not fight, because you don't really fight Mr. X, you just run. That's his, uh, first introduction. Yeah, that, yeah, that's where the liquor attacks. That's where you get spooped from the locker zombie. That looked like a pretty good loop. <laughs> that looked like a pretty good loop. That's the safe haven early in the game. That's where you find, uh... The half a dude. Screaming for help. Oh, I'm so happy. One, Nemesis. Two, Leon. And three, an actual new map. <sighs> I feel like my voice is going. But I don't care. So is it purely indoor? That's the, that's the, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. That's the area. Cause the exit, is it going to be like a Leary's where only the exit gate is outside? Cause that's what it kind of looked like. Yo, Huntress and Deathsling are going to have a field day on that corridor. That is so close. Like that is such a narrow corridor. I mean, all that's also a narrow court. What are you gonna hide behind a vending machine? God, it all looks so sick. It's also got all the blights here, the 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 pustula, the blight stuff. Welcome, Leon. Hope your first day is good. That's the main entrance. So that, yeah, so it's gonna be a Leary's. Survivors probably start on either ends outside and you ju you're just inside the entire time. Looks fucking dope. So first of all, I have to say that the map is absolutely gorgeous. You're goddamn right it is, Dave. Great effort to recreate the map from the remake of Resident Evil 2 and 3. So you'll see some iconic locations such as the main hall, the archive, the star's office, and others in there. It's truly amazing. Like, if you play the remake, you can actually navigate around the map and recognize it perfectly. Oh, I played the games uh, so much. Course, uh, I don't, I'm not going to be able to do that. There, since the entity is doing its own nightmarish version of it. All right, let's talk about characters now. Yes, yes, yes. There is a lot of very interesting characters in the Resident Evil franchise. So it was very difficult to choose just one survivor. And that's why you're getting two for this chapter. That's a smart choice. The first one is Jill Valentine, the brilliant star's agent. Her unique perk will highlight her intensive training and her eye adaptability in impossible situations. Oh, are we getting character, actual character breakdowns? Look at these small ass corridors. Holy shit, those look terrifying. As a survivor, those look fucking terrifying. It's just T-Bag coming out of a locker? Damn, Jill, you're already ready for DVD. Oh, that's outside too. That's um, the meat cute between Leon and Claire. The second survivor is Leon S. Kennedy. 
Leon's been having the worst first day at work ever, and it's not going to be better in the realm of the entity. His unique perk are gonna highlight his dedication to other, his resilience, and his goal-driven personality. There's also something really special about one of his perk. It will add a new type of gameplay to Dead by Daylight. Oh? With this perk and under a certain condition, you will be able to spawn a unique item what? flashbang inside the match. So that's an item you don't need to equip in your loadout before the match. It's something that you will create within the match you're in. Nani? What? Also, yeah, you had to have Leon. He's like one of the most iconic characters. Outside of hit, uh, Chris. God, look at that. Run. Jesus Christ. Outside of Chris, Leon has been in the in the second most games in the franchise. Two, four, he's in six. He's got a goddamn anime made about him. That's why I'm shocked Claire's not in it, because she's in the anime as well. What? Because they, they said in a press release or an interview, new ways to survive okay, and kill. So again, there's a lot of different monsters we could have used out of the Resident Evil franchise. Yes. But we chose the classic Fact. tyrant, the Nemesis. The Nemesis power is called T-Virus. With his special tentacle attack, the Nemesis is able to infect survivors. Infected survivors uh, are going to be sick. They will cough, they will vomit, so they're going to be easier to spot. And they also become vulnerable to the next tentacle attack, which will not infect them, but will damage them instead. For each infected survivor, the nemesis power grows, and his tentacle gain more reach. So he'll be able to attack over pallets, oh, really? and in some tricky places on the maps. But there's a way to get out of this infection for survivors. There are some vaccines around the map that can be used to get out of this infection. Oh, so he's plagued. There is a limited quantity, so make sure that you absolutely need it before taking it. The Nemesis' okay. unique perks will make you feel like an unstoppable hunter. As you should do in this game. Brains and brawn to cause panic amongst the survivor ranks. On top of that, for the first time ever, this killer is assisted by AI characters. What? So we are adding zombies. Oh, shit. When you are facing the Nemesis. What? Zombies are patrolling the area and survivors need to be careful of both Nemesis and them. So He's an ad battle? Bitten and infected by the zombies. Oh my god. That, fuck, he's terrifying. So he's got an infection attack. Which I'm assuming is his ability. That's a hell of a god palette. No, you fast vault it, you weenie. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a dope effect. Ow, my face. Yeah. Oh, I don't like how it, I don't like how it moves. That's uh, I don't like it. So he infects them, and then the next time he hits it, hits it with a special, he infects them. I don't I don't like the way it moves. It's gross. Show the zombies. I want to see the zombies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. His attack just broke. Broke the pallet. Okay. Oh, there's Zambi. Leon. Silly, silly bastard. You don't blind zombies. That's a, that's a unique chest design. Oh no, it's for the vaccine. So there's a limited number. How much is a limit? Because... Oh, you gotta stun them? To kill them. Fast vault it. Then teabag. Have you learned nothing? Head on? No? I was expecting like, hey, head on can do a thing. High five the zombie. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Why you gotta do that to your bro? Why? Is there a, is there a reason to do that? That's the content of the Resident Evil chapter. 
So I hope that you are as excited as we are to see the Resident Evil content inside Dead by Daylight. I sure am. I mean, this has been a dream come true. I played these games so much, I still have the original copy of Resident Evil 2 from my teens. Damn, dude. That's a so relic. You'll be able to experience this chapter in the PTB, which will be right after this event. And it will also come out June 15th. So mark your calendar. So about so I just want to finish weeks. by saying thank you to all of our community for staying around with us and having fun with us. And I wish you an happy fifth anniversary. I mean, we should be wishing you a happy fifth anniversary. It's yours, not ours. He looks... You had me kind of scared. You had me a little scared when you were like, he infects people and you got to go around the map find vaccines. I'm like, uh, so he's plague. So I don't so like that. I'm so to be with you, Justine, today to talk about this part of the broadcast on the roadmap for Dead by Daylight. Oh, we're getting the roadmap already? Um, so we're going to present the new DLC and the new maps for mm -hmm. next year. What? We're also going to talk about the four um, tomes for the archive that are coming next. Um, and we will finish with the four pillars of Dead by Daylight and all the features that comes along with them. We're starting very high as well this year with a an unique and incredible license. I'm so pleased to work on Resident Evil yeah. and we can't wait to see that, that DLC out and see the player having fun with this. Um, obviously, I cannot say anything about the other DLC. Top secret. Ah, it's fine. We'll spill the beans at a later okay. date for sure. Uh, but something that I can say is we are going to release a total of four uh, killer five and not four survivors and also two new maps oh two new maps really cool i think okay so give me some pretty exciting content for all of our players coming out because i wonder if that new map will be for a license or an original tomes i think we're gonna deliver on a really big anniversary a really amazing halloween event that's coming don't oversell it don't oversell it we still want to do something for winter we want to do something for lunar but there's something on a smaller scale, but it's still going to be a great reason to come back into the game and enjoy DVD. So we're actually going to get events again. Okay. After all that, I think that's cool. It's really worth looking at, you know, what we actually have coming in year six with our pillars. I think all that stuff is is super interesting for us to be going into and to even like dive in further, so everyone knows what's going on for the first steps into the fog. We we know like with Resident Evil, tons of new players are going to be coming into this game. If I, As it should. If I was a Resident Evil fan that hadn't heard of Dead by Daylight, I, I know I'm going to be checking it out. So we've really taken a look at our entire tutorial process, every way that we, we teach players how to play Dead by Daylight. Oh, are you going to give us actual like and tutorials that help us in game like, and not just like, you know, what we need to fix or what we need to improve. Hook survivor, you know, run from killer. A very complex game, and we're talking like matchmaking being, you know, too long, and so we're trying to find ways. Yeah, to that's fix a big it. one. It's you know, it's not easy. I think you can say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're really looking into is ways to incentivize players to maybe play a role that has you know, like less weight or you know, less more, more of a need at that current point in time. If maybe you're a killer player, but uh, we need more survivors at that time, then we'll offer you some incentive to actually go play that. Oh, so interesting. All that, I mean, we're, we're constantly working on the matchmaking in the background, trying to find ways to optimize it to get you into matches faster. And uh, the more matches you play, I think the more that you'll actually experience, sadly, with any live game, some toxicity. What we're actually well, working on for this oops. is the auto ban feature. Oh, the so fuck? At the end of every match in the tally screen, you know there's this option where you can report a player for some negative behavior, uh, applaud them for doing something well. And th right now, this is our customer, sur customer support team that is looking over it you know, manually. What we're doing with this change is this is going into an automated system. If players receive a certain amount of negative reports, you know, we are going to take action. And we're going to let you know that your report is actually having an effect on this, and we're going to thank you for it. Oh, wow. This that's is really great pretty interesting. Players, I know five years on, some things in Dead by Daylight, like the news are still in English. That's going to change. Nice. That's a big improvement. Uh, I think so. I mean, even not everyone at our office is you know, super great in, in English. People around the world... We're spreading even more community managers around the world to create more communities where you can engage with. It's just as important that we do this in our game as well. So as soon as you start the game, you have your language available to you. We'll finally have the news in French. That's cool. That should have been yes, something yeah, at yeah, launch. Uh, really making sure that we're, we're going to be perfectly honest with ourselves. That possible in our game. That and should have been something at launch. Same thing with like colorblind mode. Uh, 
and talking about keeping and maintaining what is already there, uh, what are coming up next for, for the visual update? And yes, do tell, beyond. please. So for the Realm Beyond, I, I think this is something that a lot of our players were really excited about when they heard about it a year ago or so when we started. It feel, feels like it's been an eternity. This is really the project of overhauling everything in DBD to bring it to the level of all of the current content. Because it's been around for five years, right? And let's just say, you know, Dwight needs a fresh coat of paint. Him and the others and then all the maps and everything, they've been around for quite some time. Oh, wow. And they need to be shown some love and really brought up to today's Traveled. standards. I'm, I'm really loving the team is able gross. to do this. And for those who are well, like really in a good way? way? Don't know what the realm oh, wow. Is, it is something they teased a while ago. It looks old really good. Reworking this, maybe adding in new ones uh, to make something make more sense, like repairing a generator. You know, it used to be the same animation no matter where you are. Now, yeah. every side is something new, and that was something really cool and immersive. It's still it's more repairing gens is still it, boring it, it, as hell, it, though. It actually. You know, like, you might be a little bit more immersed and forget the killer is coming to, to get you, but I think that's the point. That's... So on no, this, that's not it, Chief. To look at. Uh, this is what we're looking for with changing the, the mechanics that are already there. We have mechanics that have been there for such a long time. It's time that we put some love on Can them. you specify uh, what mechanics I'm you're talking about? I'm not the details right now because Matthew Spriggan is going to do it way more better than me. Um, uh, I think that's I think that's totally fair. There's honestly, whenever I look in some of the the notes for some of the design changes, it, it really gets into it. And I know our very engaged fans are, you know, they're, they're reading every little bit, and it's amazing the things that we can do to keep all of these characters and elements feeling fresh. That's the the core of DVD, right? It's again to match. You don't know what you're gonna find. But what are you? What sure core mechanics can you change? Yeah. What vaulting, I, I dropping really pallet? All the pillars. I um, like quite nicely, I'd say. So you got, got me a little concerned and, about and, that and, one. Stay tuned for all this to hear more about the realm beyond, about live design, uh, community, uh, everything. You know, stay tuned for the entire broadcast. We're happy to have you here. Got me a little concerned about that. We're changing core mechanics just because we kind of can. A little terrifying. For all we are doing, it's a big chunk that at the end, it's the immersion. It's not just one part. It's the entire work of everybody on the team. Take a what shot. Other cool Every time they say immersion, people expect to see in the They've said it main. quite a bit. I feel like you'd be dead by now. The, uh, the old rework things also we uh, we wanted to add extra details, uh, some that we already started like jump scares. Uh, we we did it with the Midwich uh, map and it was pretty cool. We we stayed faithful with the original game, but I mean putting it in our game was pretty cool. I think people really enjoy I mean, yeah, want to add more jump scares. How about stealth killers can't be detected by spine shell? Story to the map, not just the map. There's a thought, and, just a uh, suggestion. What about lobbies? I know people like when we mess with the lobbies. Are we going to do that again? <laughs> yes, uh, we're going to keep on messing with the lobbies. I mean, it's something we, uh, we've talked about. There's a lot of hate in his the, voice uh, there. With the <laughs> There's a lot of hate in Cote's voice there. It's super and I know the, that a big question that's on everybody's mind right now is, uh, yeah, but are we going to get more maps? Yes. Oh? Nani? I was gonna say, the stream crashes? <laughs> that, you faked me out. I thought he was gonna be Michael Myers. Design director on Dead by Daylight. The way he was standing and the way it's panning up, like, oh, this motherfucker's gonna have a Michael mask on. Team. Gonna scare the shit out of me. Amazing licensed and original chapters, killer updates, perk adjustments, Accessibility features. Where's my boy more. Almo? Our talented designers. I want to hear his stats. Exploring new features and mechanics. That's not an innuendo or a euphemism. Players. Feedback from the community through surveys and focus group testing. Did the you give Almo a hug for me? That's what I want to know. The game itself. That was in the nice and little. Course, our own design intuition. Optional thing. When it comes to looking at the changes we can make. It's difficult to be entirely transparent about what we're working on. While the team's in the design phase, certain features and mechanics are often still being prototyped and playtested and go through numerous changes along the way. That said, there's three things that we're super excited to share with you today. Oh? New killer updates and their associated timeframes. Oh, timeframes. type of perk that we're working on for survivors. I don't like that. A bit of a shake-up to the Memento Mori system. Nani? Over the last few years, we've made 
many small adjustments. You had my interest. Now you have my complete undivided life. attention. Some of our killers have had even more significant updates to their powers and abilities, such as the Doctor's Static Blast, the Clown's Afterpiece Antidote. Uh. Soon, when players see that a new chapter is out, they'll also be able to expect some balance changes, value tweaks, and small quality of life improvements for the previous killer in that same chapter or the mid-chapter patch after. So play the new killer while you can, because it's going to get nerfed into the ground work. three weeks later. Something that we haven't done for a while. Unlike Hex Totem perks and Obsession perks, this new type of perk is for survivors. And we're hoping that it will introduce some really fun and interesting gameplay moments for Survivor fans. Boon Totem perks what? give a brand new interaction to survivors standing next to a dull totem in a trial. I can't go into the full details about how all this works right now, but we are very excited about the interesting new strategies and gameplay that this will bring to the game. It's going to be a way to fuck over Hex perks, isn't it? Fans, something new and interesting to play with, but it will also give us as game designers. It's absolutely going to be a way to like, to hey, this dull totem now it can't be used for future. undying or no ed. Forward to releasing the first of our boon totem perks in an upcoming chapter. We're also looking at revisiting how Mori's are triggered in the game by killers. We've been listening to the fans and seeing the effects that they can have in the game. And despite the recent changes to Mori offerings, we feel that there's a less toxic way that we can approach this element of the game. And that's something that we're going to be working on in the future. Currently, a killer can play an offering that grants them the ability to eliminate a survivor from a trial by their own hands. Yep, that's how that works. Before the recent changes to the Mori offerings, this allowed the killer to end the game prematurely for any unfortunate survivors that ended up on the receiving end. We're discussing a new approach now to triggering Mori's that is no longer based on playing an offering, but rather integrated into the core gameplay of the trial. What? This new feature would mean that, in effect, killers have to earn their Mori's rather than be granted the opportunity by simply playing an offering. Stop being vague. To move away from the Give me answers. Mori's being a toxic part of the game towards something that's seen as more of a natural progression of the trial. It what is. You hook somebody twice and then you can Mori. Mechanic that not you only earned that by hooking them twice. And new strategic decisions, but also gives the survivors the opportunity to choose whether or not they engage with the system or ultimately deal with the consequences of that choice. Again, I can't go into too many details right now as it's still in the very early stages and is likely to go through many significant changes before it's ready for release. Having said that, this is a feature that we, the Dead by Daylight design team, are really excited about prototyping and playtesting, and we can't wait to see your reactions once it hits live servers. As a small bonus, we're also looking to prototype an update to the key item. Thank you. And this would tie in directly with the Mori system gameplay so look out for that one as well. So you'd have to earn the key as well? well? That would be me. fucking interesting. We'll have more on how these elements are developing over the coming year. So keep an eye out for news and updates. And thank you for your continued support over the last five years. See you in the fog. All right, that's a lot of interesting shit that could be coming. All right, that's a wrap for us. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I did. Thank you so much for all of this. Thank you to the whole behavior team. Thank you to all of our fans out there, content creators. Thank you to all of our partners. And I'm going to say the thing now that you've been wanting me to say for the whole show. PTB is live. You can go and play the Resident Evil chapter right now. So go have fun, and I will see you in the fog. Oh, shit. Uh, Funko Pops are coming. Uh, okay, that was that's a shock. What? Oh, Anniversary fragments. What about the blood point one? Cause that was just binary to me. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else?
No, all right. I want to go check out this tra uh, trailer again. I'll check this trailer again. Show it to me. No, full screen. I need a full screen. I need it in my veins right now. I, I am kind of like not upset, not disappointed. A little, eh. I wish we did get this. I wish we got Raccoon City. Run, Meg, run! How is she still moving after that? She gets whipped into the fucking cop car. How does she, like, survive that? Unclear. Uh, that'll do it for this. I have no idea how I'm editing this. There's a lot of parts where I'm just like, eh. A lot of the interstitials of like, hey, here's community content, uh, community creators showcase, uh, talking to the, the people watching, all this other stuff. That's probably all getting cut out. Probably most of that stuff getting caught out. I'm gonna be honest, I lost a lot of steam after the, <laughs> the chapter reveal. I'm gonna be honest with that. Uh, so this is, I've been recording for, yeah, almost an hour and a half. That's how long the stream was. Uh, yeah, that's uh, super excited for the year to come. Uh, that's it. That's all I got, man. I'm out. I'm out of energy at this point. I'm just so excited for this chapter. Uh, PTB is live. You heard Kote say that. Um, I'm a poor boy. Don't have a computer that can run DBD. <laughs> Not yet. Um, but I'm sure like somebody will have the perks and, and the abilities up. I'll do a video of breaking that down eventually whenever those go up. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, whatever you, whatever this was, this reveal event reaction, uh, hook that like button, more of the subscribe button, bing bong that bell, and until next time, I will see you in the fog. Good luck. <laughs>